Hi, hello, welcome back to our channel, Get Legit LLC. Welcome back. Here where we discuss all things from a legal perspective that is happening in social media, on reality TV, and stuff ha happening in the entertainment news. Welcome back to our channel. As usual, we note the purpose of this channel as well as we have our fair use disclaimer which sets out the purpose for this channel as it relates to why we use copyrighted information without having gotten permission and that its sole purpose is to educate. For those of you new to our channel, we all we ask is that you like, hit that share button and subscribe to our channel. We're growing. We're just about, I believe, 38 subscribers. And I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to us and ask you that you just continue to enjoy our content. So, for those of you who have been listening and following the saga with Melody and Martel Holt. Today, I believe Melody has had enough. And as usual, we don't blame her because we've seen all that she has had to endure, all the public humiliation, the embarrassment, the targeting, the bullying coming from not only her husband, but we know the other person whose name we shall not call. And so today, Melody put out a series of posts on her Instagram page. However, for the purpose of this video, I will solely be focusing on this post in which it says, Revenge porn? Really? And then you have a laughing emoji. It says, I pay attention to promises, not threats. I had four kids some kind of way with you. Whack. Hashtag whack. And so this, as it relates to revenge porn, have me wondering, hmm, is it that Martel is threatening Melody that he's going to put out revenge porn on her? And if that is the case, we don't know. We're just assuming. We're just trying to figure out what Mel is talking about here and we gathered that there must be some threat because she said she focused her attention is on promises not threat she have four kids with this individual and that own in that individual as we all know is Martel Holt so a suit and tie do not make it a man and so if it is it is that Martel is threatening Mel that he's going to release revenge porn then you know what let's see what the laws in Alabama says as it relates to that but before that we just would like to say to Martel Holt don't you dare or else you will have the wrath of Melody's supporters on your and I guess you all can see this is because as females, I believe all of us must stand up against this kind of tactics that it seems as though Martel wants to employ in order for him to have his way. And so I think collectively we should all have a say, we should all voice our opinions so that we could lend support to another female who could very well be going through having to deal with the issues of revenge porn we've seen um other celebrities who have had to deal with this and yes you may sue however when that information is already out there when that video or whatever in in whatever form that person that i believe you would have trusted with that information or those pictures videos coming whatever form of communication you would have trusted that person and so when that trust is violated I think people must act I like the fact that I see Melody already let him know that she has her attorney on standby and basically it's just waiting for him to 
do whatever it is he's threatening to do. But with that in mind, let's look at what is a legal issue in Alabama when it comes to revenge porn. Because for those of you who don't know, Alabama has gone through a series of amendments. And so they only recently amended their laws to take into consideration revenge porn, uh, topics such as sexting and so on. And so let's look to see what governs in Alabama. For those of you who would like to do your own research, you could also look at the Alabama, well, you can look, find that piece of legislation. It is the Alabama Code, Occupations Code, 13A-6-240. Uh, the site I got this information from was updated in 2019. That amendment that I spoke about that deals with the issue of revenge porn was done in 2017. And the law says, a person commits the crime of distributing a private image if he or she knowingly posts, emails, texts, transmits, or otherwise distributes a private image with the intent to harass, threaten, curse, or intimidate the person depicted when the depicted person has not consented to the transmission and the depicted person had a reasonable expectation of privacy against transmission of the private image. And so I would like to point out for you all, for my listeners and viewers, that some of the keywords here, it says the first line, a person commits a crime of distributing a private image. Keyword, private image, which means it was not disseminated to the public. And the person would have done so knowing and the person who ever distribute that information knowingly post it. So you had an intention to post that information that you knew was private. And when you did so, their intent behind the reason why you posted that information, that picture, that text, that email was to either harass the person, threaten the person, coerce the person, or intimidate the person. And so, based on what is going on between Martin and Melody Holt, Melody has alluded to the point that it is a threat. And it could very well and it could very well be a threat in order to coerce her to do what he wants, to give in to his demands as it relates to the custody case. Or it could be because she has basically blasted him and showed us really what kind of a man he is, quote unquote, man. Subsection B says, for the purpose of this section, Private image means a photograph, digital image, video, film, or other recording of a person who is identifiable from the recording itself or from the circumstances of its transmission and who is engaged in any act or sadomasochistic abuse, sexual intercourse, sexual excitement, masturbation, breast nudity, as defined in section 113A12190, which defines it as genital nudity or other sexual conduct. The, terms, the term includes a recording that has been edited, altered, or otherwise manipulated from its original form. And so you could see this piece of legislation took into consideration a whole lot. It takes into consideration the fact that um, the circumstances under which the person would have been engaging in this act, the fact that even though you might not be able to see the person, uh, to make out that it is indeed this individual, that the mere fact that whoever transmitted that information, whoever was engaging in that, that you could ascertain who that individual is, then that person would have been targeting you and you could then uh, be in a good position to bring a suit or make a complaint against that individual. As you look, it says, uh, film or other recording of a person who is identifiable from the recording itself or from circumstances of its transmission. 
And so circumstances of its circumstances of its transmission could include, but not limited to the in the, the maker, the person who disseminated it. it. Could be as it relates to the name, if there's a name called in the video. Could be if there is a a tattoo, let's say an individual has a particular tattoo and that tattoo is well known to the public. Something that can identify that you could put together and say, oh, it is this individual. So this legislation took into consideration that there may be times when a video, a photograph or an email is disseminated that re reaches a threshold of um, revenge porn, but you can't really make out the individual face. But people from the in whatever is in that video can decipher who that person is. This legislation took that into consideration. It goes on to say, for the purpose of this section, a reasonable expectation of privacy includes, but is not limited to, either of the following circumstances. A. The person depicted in the private image created it or consented to its creation, believing that it would remain confidential. B. The sexual conduct depicted in the image was in Voluntary. Involuntary means you did not have a say. You did the act, however, you were you never volunteered to give that in to give to do it, to give it you were coerced or you were under distress or someone took advantage of you in some other way, shape, or form. Two says there is no reasonable expectation of privacy against the transmission of a private image made voluntarily in a public or commercial setting. D says, it is a defense to distributing a private image if the distribution of the private image was made in the public interest, including but not limited to reporting of unlawful conduct, the lawful and common practices of law enforcement, legal proceedings or medical treatment, or a bona fide attempt to prevent further distribution of the private image. E, a violation of this section is a class A misdemeanor. A subsequent adjudication or conviction under this section is a class C felony. And so you would have to look at the legislation in order for you to determine, but I do believe that there is a fine as well as there is a, a small uh, minimum term of um, sentencing. It's I believe it's one year, but I will have to verify that and um further give give you that further information as usual please like share subscribe to our channel if you would like to always get a legal perspective on all things in social media in particular love and marriage huntsville and i ask all other youtubers to voice your concern to to make it known to love and huntsville love and marriage huntsville to make it known to Carlos King, to make it known to Martel Holt, that we will not tolerate him even embarking in that direction of trying to put out revenge porn against one of it, the cast and producer of that show. And I do believe Martin has stepped, overstepped. He has gone too far. And it just seemed to be ironic that here you have this individual claiming to be this wonderful father who is father of three girls and in an attempt to embarrass his wife, allegedly is threatening to put out revenge porn. Imagine the irony of that. Here he is claiming to be this wonderful father and yet he's going to do something or attempting or threatening to do something that will violate a female and he is a father of three i ask you all thank you for joining us for listening to us we ask you to please subscribe and support our channel it's a new channel we're trying to grow here uh and we ask if you could support our channel by cash up at dollar sign get legit llc for those of you who would like to support us and again remember to like share and Hit that subscribe button. Thank you.